All right, and we are live on YouTube. What's going on, guys? I'm Brian. We got Ben here with us also. What's up, everybody? And we're going to be talking about some boots and some gear and apparel and stuff. We don't have a name for this show. It's kind of the whatever you want to call this show right now. Yeah, um, we're, uh, we're testing things out a little bit today. Going to try and play around with some things and have some fun. And uh, a name is just one of those things. First time on the air. Got to love it. Ben, you look better on uh, on the computer than you do on TV. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah All right. Well, let's kick things. Let's kick things off. Um, let's see if we have anybody in the chat room. Anybody in there in the chat room, you guys? If anybody's in there, uh, hit us up with a message so we know you're there. And uh, let's start off with the uh, the Adidas box that both of us got. Now, the thing about this box, man, I'm not sure anybody else in the US actually has this box. Um, I haven't seen anybody else talk about it. I don't know if you have. Sure. I have it, man, and it was, uh, you know, it's definitely one of those things where if anybody else got one, I can't imagine that they wouldn't have posted it pretty quickly. Um, yeah. So I think you're right. I think we may be the only ones in the in the U.S. that uh, that actually has this box. And I will say this real quick. Anytime I get a package in the mail from Adidas in Europe, I always know it's going to be something incredible. Like they don't they don't mess around with their boxes. Yeah. This is this is a pretty cool box, man. And I know I know you've posted images of it, and I've posted images of it and stuff. So, um, yeah, here we have it right here, the messy box. It's pretty sick. It is, and it's like it's like some sort you of know, like you open it up. Yeah, you got the, uh, the the messy logo, um, inspirational quotes on the side. And By the way, they, what do you think yeah. of that? I like that philosophy that they have on there about the beautiful game and playing the right way. And It's really cool, man. I think the one sentence in it that everybody loves is, we don't dive to the ground. And I think that epitomizes Messi, and it could be a dig at other players like Ronaldo. It could. And here's something, too. I wrote about this. They have their own signature boot. Yeah. All the messaging and all the branding is very much like about the player himself. And this one seems to be much more about the team and about the way that you play and sort of appreciating the game much more than just about Messi. Yeah, I agree with that. And I mean, and you can open up a little container like that and it's got an LCD screen that plays a video. That's pretty sick. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I noticed they also have a, a connection on the side that you can probably reload another video on it if you didn't want the messy. Yeah, I saw that too. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I may have to try that. Maybe you know, load some, some videos on there or something that uses a little media player. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the uh, the boots themselves, which again, it it's kind of unique in the sense that Messi was again. Promoting the synthetic version, yet yeah, he's wearing a leather version. It's kind of sneaky like that. But the one thing about these boots that is unique is if you see the pictures of Messi wearing them, it's very hard to depict the lines in it, the leather stitching, because of the colorway. Good point. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe that's why they went for that ribbon effect. Maybe. I do feel, though, that there are a fair amount of, um, of players that you know, they may promote a synthetic boot, but... They themselves probably wear leather much more. Yeah, I don't think that's all that uncommon. Yeah, but it's anyways, a, what do you think about the boots? Um, I like the design, man. I actually really like the design. I think they look pretty sick. Um, that ribbon, that ribbon effect that goes across the front, it's it's it, it works well with the white on the side. So, um, I like. I now, like one it of the lot. things I really. <clears throat> One of the things that I really like too about it, and then I noticed this quite a bit when I was taking pictures, is how much the all white—I mean, almost all white—sole plate contrasts with, uh, you know, a sharp green pitch. Yeah. I think that's a, it's a really good look. It's sort of on oh, no, great look. You know, it's almost two boots, right? Like the the interior of an instep is really just sort of. Toned down and simple, 
just all, yeah. all white with the three stripes and the little Adidas branding, and then you know you flip it over to the uh, to the posterior side, and it's bright and vibrant and all kinds of stuff. It looks pretty cool. And then you got that one stud in the bottom. I had uh, somebody. Right. I had somebody comment on the website last week that um, it was a little bit. Um, you know, it was a negative move by Messi to put the one stud to make himself stand out. So he, you've got opposite reactions because I think the stud there is is to embody the fact that he's only one and eleven. So it's amazing how people look at things like that. Yeah, it's always it is always interesting to hear some of those thoughts from people about why you know certain design elements have been included in there, and uh, that's an interesting take on that. Yeah, and then you got the golden balls, which are uh, kind of a unique addition. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm thinking about maybe having a giveaway. Oh, you know, right, two of these golden balls. Uh, I don't know. If you want to win a golden ball, leave a comment below and let me know. Did we lose you, Ben? You still there? I'm just. You still there, Ben? Oh, whoa, we got some comments. Um, uh, sorry, you guys, I'm just catching up with some of this stuff. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you right now. Um, okay, we got some comments. I was going to uh, say, I mean, these are pretty much the same F50s that we've seen. There's not a whole lot. A lot different, no. Oh, Ben, we got your video up. Cool, man. Welcome to the chat. That's Ben, everybody. I didn't have your video before. Cool. Uh, we, got some, we got some comments right Hello. now. Hello. Um, yeah, Jim said Ben wasn't showing up. Thanks for it, Jim. How did you get it? Um, Adidas actually sent us the box. We were supposed to do an episode of the Gear Show surrounding um, sort of like an unboxing. So both Ben and I got a pair sent each. Um, I think we lost you again, Ben. Maybe we lost Ben altogether. Let's see if he comes back in. Um, two more comments. Let me just see two more comments real quick. Stick with us, guys, if you try and work this out. Thanks for the play-by-play, -play, Jim. All right, we're going to move on. I'm going to move on a little bit, and hopefully Ben will jump back in at some stage. We're going to talk about the Nike FC 247, 24-7, new range of boots that come out. That's the next thing up. Um, yeah, Nike have done a pretty good job adding some color and a splash of uh, ingenuity in this, these three new boots. You got the... Bomba, Elastico, and the Lunar Gator. And let me see if I can pull up a picture so we can talk through them. All right, hopefully you guys can see those right there. Um, we got the, the Lunar Gator 2 on the top. Um, I like the design myself. This one is out of the three I think I like the best. I like that cross stitching that's on the front. It kind of reminds me of a a tempo style, um, and they look pretty airy with that material on the side, so I'm going to be interested to test them out when I get a chance. In the middle is the absolutely funky Elastico Finale 2. The design on the side is pretty unique. I don't know, it's like a leopard skin pink cross, um, and the green itself is a pretty unusual color. And then you get the Bombo Finale 2, which, um, you know, Again, kind of looks like the previous version of the, the Bomba, but the thing about all these three three of these boots is they all have different uh, different tractions, different soles on them, so it, it's different from before. Um, we got those three. I think we have lost Ben, so um, let me see if anybody else is talking in here. What would you guys got to say? Well, welcome back in, buddy. Thanks for joining. Um, and the last thing we were going to talk about, and I might as well go ahead and do it since Jim is not, or since Ben is not here, is the Bumpy Pitch apparel. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Bumpy Pitch clothing lifestyle. Um, you can find it on bumpypitch.com, and they've just released a new Laurel Crest hoodie. It's kind of like a um, pink, purpley colored hoodie. Really cool quality. Ben was going to talk about it and tell us all about it. Um, here's what I can tell you about it. It's made of, uh, it's fleece, 50% polyester, 46% cotton, 4% rayon. 
And the reason I know that is because I'm reading it from the website right now. Uh, but yeah, you can check them out on bumpypitch.com. Any other questions, you guys? Anything else you want to know about? I can uh, give you info on to. The one big thing right now is we're trying to come up with a name for this show. We're going to try and improve it and make it a weekly show where we will have Ben online. And we're going to bring in some of our friends, a few MLS players want to jump in, um, and other folks that we can bring their knowledge and expertise into a chat scenario. Mostly going to be talking about gear and apparel, obviously, boots and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're coming up with a show name. We're thinking about the boot room. If you guys have any suggestions, whether you're watching this right now or a week from now, leave a comment down below. Um, we'd love to hear your thoughts, and eventually we hope to have a name included um, with the show. Cool. And if nobody has any other questions, I don't see any more questions coming in. I'm going to sign out for now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Ben, for joining in 15 minutes. Hopefully we can get him for the full episode next time around. And uh, stay tuned for more editions of the unnamed gear show. The Boo Boo. Thanks, guys. <laughs>